Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this video in one go, so if I stumble over my words moving forwards, apologies about that, and also apologies if the quality of this video is fairly poor as well. If there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it can't be helped, and hopefully it's not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision 2024 related video here on my channel, and another sort of reaction video as well, because right now... I'm about to listen in full to the Georgian entry for the upcoming edition of the ESC, which will take place in May in Malmö, Sweden. As always, you are welcome to let me know your thoughts on anything I discussed today by leaving a comment down below, and as always, there are links in the description to my other social media pages, check them out if you so wish. Before I get into the main point of this video, I have just seen an announcement regarding slight changes to the format of this year's semi-finals. The automatic finalists will now perform in full right in the middle of these semi-finals for no apparent reason whatsoever. I don't mind this. I don't really see the point of it though. And I think more changes will be coming. This Melody Festivalization of Eurovision happens every time Sweden hosts now, so I'm not really surprised. And uh, it just disappoints me that there has to be this tinkering with a format that I think at the moment is working perfectly all right. Anyway, Georgia debuted in 2007, did quite well for a number of years, but they haven't appeared in a Eurovision final since the last time Sweden hosted in 2016. If we take a look at their form over the past decade, while well, it's not being great, I think they were last in the second semi-final in Copenhagen, but don't quote me on that. Nina Sublati did quite well in Vienna in 2015. Then we had Midnight Gold by Mika Kocherov and the Young Georgian Law Leaders in 2016. The UK jury thought that was the best song of the year. Yes. How bizarre. Uh, Keep the Faith narrowly missed out on qualifying in 2017. Irial were nowhere in 2018. Otto Sanze didn't qualify either in Tel Aviv. Then we have two very different entries by Tornika Kipiani. He didn't qualify in Rotterdam with the song that he actually performed on the Eurovision stage, that is. Then we have Circus Mirkus, a song that I like a lot more now than I did at the time, but they didn't qualify. And Iru, former junior Eurovision winner with Candy, took to the stage in Liverpool last year and she didn't qualify either. So... Will things change this year for Nutsa Buzaladze, a former Georgian national final runner-up? She's 27 from Tbilisi. She grew up in Turkey. She's been performing since a young age. She's lived in LA and Dubai. And I believe she worked on this track in America, but don't quote me on that. She's also been on Georgia's Got Talent. Georgia's version of Your Face Sounds Familiar. Georgia's version of Dancing with the Stars. She's performed in Dubai, she's performed in Russia, she's performed in the Albanian song competition Kenga Magike, which I'm probably mispronouncing, and she was on the 21st season of American Idol, finishing in the top 12. She's released one EP to date and numerous singles. White Horses Run was the song that she had in the Georgian national selection all those years ago. This Eurovision track is called Firefighter. It's on the Eurovision Song Contest YouTube page. It's had just under 30,000 views. I don't really know what to expect. I've heard all of five seconds of this song in a little teaser that was released about 24 to 48 hours ago. I'm excited for this. I have high hopes. Let's see if Georgia are bringing the goods. What I'm watching won't be in the bottom corner of the video you're watching. That's the way it usually is. This is Firefighter, the Georgian track for the ESC 2024. Here we go then. After this, there's just two more songs to go. Azerbaijan and Armenia. Oh. There she is. On a rotating platform. Ooh, this seems fierce. Put out the fire. Oh, yes. Hmm. It is fierce. Bit of choreography. We'll have this in Malmö. It's building up. She looks great. Okay. We're stripping it back a bit. Much emphasis on the drums. Oh. Is this the chorus? Bit of a letdown, I won't lie. Bit of a letdown. 
If it's just the song title repeated a few times, it always strikes me as lazy. And we've also got this somewhat jarring, sort of thumping drum sound in the back there. Which I can't say I love. It's sort of pop meets electro, ever so slightly. Um, I'm about halfway through. Really promising up until the chorus. Then it became a letdown. Song is still fine, though. We've got a bit of fire now. Yeah, the verses aren't too bad at all, you know. Now it's raining. Inside, outside, thrashing about. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry to pause it again. I think this song... Maybe it's just me. I wouldn't be surprised. But to me, this song... It's not flowing that well. It seems to be a little bit jumbled in places. It seems we went from the first verse to the chorus, the second verse was over in a flash, and now we've got some sort of pre-chorus before the big finale. I don't know. I'm liking a lot of this. I really am. But... I'm not loving the way it's flowing. Not too much. The instrumentation is fine. It is quite powerful. This is the last chorus then. It's not just the title repeated many times. Oh yeah, it's just missing that really wow moment. That's all that's lacking here, really. Outfit change. There's a lot going on, really. It's a very... Cred okay, it ends well. It ends well on a dramatic note. Yeah, fairly powerful. Uh, like her voice, I'm liking the fierceness that she's delivering in this video. I have to say I'm a tad underwhelmed, because not every song needs to have one of these, but... There wasn't really a wow moment for me there. The real selling point. The moment in the song where I thought, yes, that's what's going to get you into the final. Do I think this is a finalist, based on what I've just heard? Uh, I think it seemed with a really good shot of making the final. Yes, it's certainly not a poor effort. Um, if anything, it feels a lot more serious than some of the songs that George may have sent in the past. No Circus Mircus this time. Um, if I had to give this a mark out of 10, 1 being crap, 10 being sensational, I think it's got to be a 6, based on the first listen. I'm not blown away. If anything, I expected more fire. I imagine we'll get that on stage in Malmo. This is in semi-final 2 in the second half. Nutza is queen. Slay. Good luck from Germany. It's a bop. Put that fire in Malmö. This is going to be better in live. Good luck, Nutza. Love from the Netherlands. I'm crying. What a wonderful entry, dear Georgia. She has it all. Georgia, welcome back to the final. Well, we said that last year and look what happened. Top ten for sure. I'm, I wouldn't go that far either. If this makes the final, I think you've got to be looking at mid-table. At the very least. Uh, this is not poor enough to finish right near the bottom. But then again, we don't have the full lineup just yet for this year's contest. And uh, who knows, maybe they'll be introducing a rule later on that means uh, three random songs that three to nine-year-olds really love get a spot in the final as well. Ah, who the hell knows. Uh, not bad, not bad. Just lacking that little wow moment. But certainly a decent piece of music. Let me know what you think. Until next time, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and bye for now.